As we talked about last week, the building blocks of credit also involves analyzing your income. This week, we're gonna talk about looking at all of your income and all of your expenses to find out what you can use to pay down debt. Paying down debts is the fastest way to boost your credit. Oftentimes, buyers are confused whether they should save money for their down payment or take money and pay down their debts. And that is a great question. I always recommend that you pay down your debts first and then you move towards saving for your down payment and your closing costs, which is why I recommend a good four to eight month preparation plan. When you go to seek a pre-approval, your lender is going to look at your debt to income ratio. This is why it's important to have the lowest amount of debt as possible. The lower your debt to income ratio, the better your chances of getting pre-qualified for a home. If you save too much money for your down payment without working on your debt to income ratio, it can actually work against you during your pre-approval. If you run out of all your on-hand savings to pay down your debts, that can also also make buying a house challenging as you've now liquidated your assets that you would need to use for your down payment. This is why it's good to give yourself about eight months to put together a savings and debt pay down plan so you can achieve both goals simultaneously. As you work on this four to eight month strategy, it's important to get connected with a realtor during this time. Next week, we'll delve into how important it is to get connected with a real estate professional that you like and trust early in your home buying process.